Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I remember playing in the snow as a kid, making snow angels, going sledding, having snowball fights. It was the best. And don't you try to trick me with that whole Christmas in July thing. That ain't gonna work on me. There's no snow in July here in Pennsylvania. A long time ago, I said this. Finally, a cartoon for me! And you know what they say. Whenever there's a cartoon for you, there has to be an episode that really proves why that cartoon is for you. That could be a objectively best episode by the fandom, or just a personal favorite. And the favorite is a personal preference for whatever reason you come up with. Which is why, back in the day, if somebody asked me that question, my immediate response would be... <laughs> yep. Snowball Effect is the episode where it snows in Bikini Bottom and SpongeBob and Patrick have a snowball fight and try to get Squidward to join them. This episode aired on February 22nd, 2002 and is one of the rare times where we get to see snow in the series. When I was in elementary school and somebody asked me my favorite SpongeBob episode, my immediate answer was always Snowball Effect. Not Band Geeks or Christmas Who or Opposite Day or Chocolate with Nuts. Not that. Nope. It was this one. I always found it to be really funny, and I love the winter aesthetic, and it's basically why I love winter even to this day, despite how everybody else around me has a different mindset. And I've been looking forward to this day for a while. It's finally time to rewatch this episode and see if my childhood favorite still holds up to this day. So the episode starts up and we see some icebergs in the polar regions. One strays over to Bikini Bottom and makes it snow. The realistic fish head reports on the snow falling all over the town. SpongeBob and various other people in Bikini Bottom play outside in the snow. Plankton comes out of the chum bucket and thinks he can harness the power of the snow to rule the world, but then gets buried in the snow. How dare he think of using my favorite form of water to take over the world! Patrick giddily makes a snow angel, but fails, and then SpongeBob threw a snowball at him. Patrick didn't know it was Spongebob who threw it at him until he explained that he did because they were having a snowball fight. Patrick was excited but struggled to make a snowball before Spongebob made one for him. I know how that feels. Spongebob and Patrick commence with their snowball fight. Meanwhile, Squirrel was inside relaxing by the fire with slippers and tea when he heard Spongebob and Patrick making forts for their snowball fights. Spongebob asked if Squidward wanted to join them, but he declined, so Patrick threw a snowball at him, which made his fire go out. Patrick then threw a snowball at Spongebob and started laughing hysterically, so Spongebob retaliated by loading his head with snow and firing snowballs out of his pores like a rapid-fire gun, and kept going on and on and on until Patrick started choking on the snow. Is choking going a bit too far? Patrick went to Squidward's house, but Squidward couldn't understand a thing Patrick was saying until the snow melted and he drank it all down. Squidward tried to leave Patrick, but Patrick needed to piss so badly, but Squidward didn't agree at first. Spongebob caught Squidward talking to Patrick and threw a snowball, which put out Squidward's fire again. Squidward was about to throw a snowball back, but then changed his mind because he claimed snowball fights were for children and he didn't want to stoop to Spongebob and Patrick's level and asked them to leave him out of their games. Squidward then imagined another snowball fight and wanted to watch it for himself, but wasn't happy to see Spongebob and Patrick shaking hands. Does that count as spying on them? Spongebob and Patrick said they signed a peace treaty, but Squidward tried to get them to continue fighting. Squidward tried to talk them into fighting in many different ways, most of them resulting in just getting hit with a snowball. When he tried to make a fort and demonstrate it, Patrick kept throwing snowballs at Squidward. Squidward got fed up and threw a snowball which also put out his own fire. Spongebob and Patrick decided to fight again and they threw many snowballs at Squidward. Squidward fired back and hit Spongebob right in the face and quickly got an adrenaline rush from it. So he started taking the snowball fight way too seriously by throwing so many snowballs at Spongebob and Patrick, one of which having his clarinet in it, so Spongebob and Patrick snuck away. Squidward slowed down to catch his breath and not realizing the others weren't there anymore, he started to beef up his fort, turning it into a tree trunk and then an extremely skinny volcano. He then got hit in the head with snow and thought it was Spongebob and Patrick, but it was just a tree dropping snow on him. 
SpongeBob and Patrick were inside SpongeBob's house, relaxing in the warm, and the episode ends. At least Squidward won because SpongeBob and Patrick forfeited. So that was Snowball Effect, and I can safely say that this episode still holds up pretty well even after all these years. It's a simple episode for sure, but it's another story where SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward are the main characters, and SpongeBob and Patrick do things that Squidward doesn't like at first, but then he has a character arc and ends up enjoying what SpongeBob and Patrick were doing, but it does come with a cost. And those episodes up to this point have been pretty good for the most part. Other examples include episode 4, Bubble Stand from season 1, 53, Squidville from season 2, and 88, Idiot Box from season 3, just to name a few. And for those of you who point out every time Squidward gets tortured in the modern days, the worst thing that happens to him in this episode is when he accidentally squirts lemon in his eye. And since seasons 13 onwards put him through the worst of the worst, the lemon in his eye being the worst that happens to him here makes this episode all the better. Some little details that I always appreciate about this episode, the sky was gray during the winter whenever there was snow on the ground in this episode. Squidward wore a long sleeved turtleneck sweater instead of his usual collared shirt with short sleeves like he usually does. There's this decoration with Squidward's head and moose antlers that's above his fireplace. I always like the detail of Spongebob's sport being smooth and Patrick looking imperfect. As well as these shots where Patrick had snow cubes like his first failed attempt to make a snowball. And of course, we have all the funny gags, like Plankton getting buried in the snow, Mrs. Puff blowing the snow off her boat and covering it in Fred, who got mad, when Squidward gets pelted with so much snow that he becomes a snowman, and my favorite, the three times Squidward's fire got accidentally put out with a snowball. There are so many more I can mention, but I'll say my second favorite is Squidward's imagining Spongebob's brain getting knocked out with a snowball. Okay, Patrick, it's out. In terms of quotes, I will admit that this episode isn't as quotable as the Spongebob Squarepants movie or some other episodes that came out in this era of the show, but it's still pretty funny. My favorite quote in this episode by far is, Score one for the boys back home! And my second favorite line is when Squidward tells Patrick to stop throwing snowballs at him. Put you two please stop throwing snowballs! There are also some great character moments in this episode. I like when Patrick was angry about getting hit by a snowball, but then becomes worried he's being hunted. I like when Spongebob was upset about getting hit with a snowball. Patrick, how could you? I love Patrick and Squidward's banter at the door, especially when Squidward doesn't want Patrick to use his bathroom. I also love when Squidward keeps trying to get Spongebob and Patrick to fight each other, as well as when Spongebob and Patrick take Squidward's words about snowball fights being for children to heart. Squidward's gradual rise from not giving a shit about the snowball fight to being the one who takes it the most seriously is pretty funny. I just love seeing the four go from thrown together to a tree trunk to a volcano on a diet. Something else I also really loved about this episode is its use of music. I love when 12th Street Rag plays when Squidward tries to get SpongeBob and Patrick to fight again. This isn't a very visually interesting scene, so hearing this music play here livens up the scene so much. I also like when Earl's Revenge plays when Squidward throws more snowballs at Spongebob and Patrick, and the Jolly Sleigh Ride which plays during the opening montage of Bikini Bottom covered in snow. The title card music has also only been used for the title card of this episode, and it never showed up again in the series currently, so that made it all the more memorable to me for that reason. For its winter vibe, and how it's one of the only episodes to show a winter wonderland in Bikini Bottom, it's just perfect. This episode stuck out to me more than most other episodes for me because of the winter aesthetics. A good majority of the episodes of the whole show take place in a sunny day environment with the blue sky. Which makes sense, Bikini Bottom is located at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean after all, but just that simple color change can do wonders to make things stick out that much more. I just like the winter environment, because I always thought it looked really pretty in a way that you couldn't experience during the summertime. It made me happy whenever there was a snow day from school, because I loved playing in the snow as a kid. When there was a snow day, I always wanted to hang out with somebody and just go crazy in the snow like in this episode, but unfortunately it never worked out. But that didn't stop me from just playing in the snow. The only thing that did was when I got lazy. While I wasn't good at making snowballs, I loved going sledding and making snow angels. 
While this episode still airs year round, Nickelodeon would show this one with a bunch of other winter or Christmas themed episodes whenever they wanted to do a Spongebob Christmas themed marathon in December. So to answer the question, why is this my favorite episode? Well, it always made me excited when winter came around, rather than just mope around like several other people I knew at the time. The music use is absolutely perfect throughout, and of course, the banter between Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward. That's a formula that, when it's done right, it's a guaranteed fun watch. The episode is simple, but that's fine since it's one of the few winter-themed episodes from seasons 1, 2, and 3. And I think that this is a good way to handle a winter-themed episode that's not Christmas-related or make it feel like an action-packed adventure. It's a great episode all around, and I'm glad that my childhood favorite still holds up to this day. Snowball Effect is a really great episode. The winter aesthetic is usually enough to win me over, but all the funny banter and character moments really help make this episode even more special for me. In the grand scheme of the show, I can understand if somebody wouldn't say that this is their favorite episode, but this one has and always will hold a special place in my heart no matter what. Even if the Earth doesn't share that passion considering I've barely gotten any snow over the last few years,